Hey there, and welcome to this Pro Flows quick tip. My name is Cameron, and today we're going to talk about a very simple technique or trick, I should say, um, but it's very powerful, and it's something that I run into all the time, and I thought, hey, I'm going to go ahead and teach this as a quick tip uh, because it is so important to know how to do this. So what I've got here is a camera. I've got a custom view here. I've got the straight on camera here. And in this custom view, you can see that I've got a logo 3D layer and I've got a background 3D layer. This is just a very simple example, but this could be anything like any type of background plate. The logo text could be a logo. It could be another shape layer. It could be a photo, anything. It doesn't matter. The point is I want you to realize that there's two 3D layers here. And these layers, if I hit R for rotation, these layers are both rotated to the same angles of zero, 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 zero. Now, what happens if I, for instance, take the Y rotation of the logo and I just kind of rotate it just slightly and you can see it intersects with this background plate here. And when it does that, it disappears into the, the, the solid background. And maybe for some reason, we don't want that to happen. Maybe we still want to see that full logo text or logo icon here. For whatever reason, there are many times when working with 3D layers that layers will intersect and you don't want them to intersect. So I could do this, throw this back out. I could do this on the X axis. Same deal here. I'm just kind of pivoting back here on the X and you can see here again, it's just going through the layer. They're intersecting and I don't want it to intersect. So how do you solve that easily? How you do it is you create a new adjustment layer and the adjustment layer doesn't need to have anything on it, just a blank adjustment layer. And what you do is you drag that adjustment layer in between your two 3D layers. So logo and purple solid, I drag it between and boom, we can see here, you can see the full logo. Even though it's intersecting here, I'm still able to see the full logo here. So this doesn't work if the adjustment layer is above or if it's below. It actually has to be between the two 3D layers that you want to get rid of the intersection. And what I like to do is I like to rename these cutters. That's just a personal preference. And I always lock these layers. And that tells me this adjustment layer is here to stop the intersection of these two 3D layers. And that's all it does. I don't need to add anything to it. I don't want to delete it or turn it off. I want it to be here and locked. And that is how you create a cutter between two 3D layers in After Effects.